Hey guys, surprise! Um, so yeah, um, bet you're wondering why there is a new video game analysis board episode. Well, I'll explain right after this intro. A surprise video game analysis. I'm Billy, your video game analyzer. I'm trying out an intro. I hope you like it. And today, well, let me explain. Um, if you haven't heard the news, here it is. After 24 years of service, Nintendo Power is stopping publication. This really hit me hard. Um, I haven't been a subscriber for a while due to money constraints, but um, I, I didn't expect it to end. I thought I'd have time to catch up. Let me tell you, um, Nintendo Power is something you thought you'd never leave. It's, um, it's a magazine that just really was important to people and still holds up to this day. So, um, in honor of Nintendo Power, I decided to just forget about it all for a while and just think about Nintendo Power. I looked at a lot of videos on it. And I did, I am doing... And I pulled together what I can to do another episode for you guys, and hopefully share, and hopefully you share my feelings, and or if not, I can give you an understanding on why I'm so upset, and many other people are upset about the loss of Nintendo Power. The idea of video game magazines are not new, and are not old, and will never die. Uh, I've actually got some a pile here of old stuff here, and you know what? Uh, out of all the history, there's just not one magazine that made more of an impact than Nintendo Power. Like, you gotta think about a time before the internet, or, like, arguably when dial-up came out. Um, we didn't know what to do in a game, we didn't know what news was coming up, we didn't know what a game would be good or not. So, what would, what would people do back then is they would go to the video game store or rental or a video store and rent a game for the weekend and just play the game all weekend and bring it back and decide they liked it or not. If it's a classic, they would probably buy it if it was. But the question still stands. How do we know what's coming up and how do we know if things are good or not? Maybe, how are we going to get involved with a company we love so much that gives us games? And Nintendo Power came out. Um, I have some other uh, magazines I have from the past, and the uh, here's the End Revolution. Uh, is an interesting one. Um, this this has a that thing on Metroid Prime Three, Resident Evil Four. I'm probably gonna get a little nostalgic with this one. I mean, not like I'm not always nostalgic. Um, here is Expert Gamer. This is a really old one about Mario Party One. It's pretty amazing. Win all 53 mini games. This is pretty much a tricks and trade magazine. They give you news about the game. Um, this doesn't really count, but uh, this is a really here's a strategy guide on Super Smash Bros. Melee, and the strategy guides were something that was in um, Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power had a lot. It had um, a lot of it had news on Nintendo. It had contests, uh, strategies. It was it, it had a really famous issue with a map of Hyrule for the first Legend of Zelda. Um, and all the news on the Mario games, Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of the most defining Nintendo Power games ever. Here's a newer one, um, well not that much newer, it's, of course it's white so you can't see it very well. Hardcore Gamer, it was about, this is the magazine about the Wii before it came out. And, uh, wow. It's hard to believe the Wii is already six years old, uh, and I, uh, that's amazing. Here is, um, the most, uh, recent, uh, copy I have, new and uh, Game Informer, this is the new issue. Um, the only reason why I have, um, so I like Game Informer. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. I didn't um, follow it until now because I um, I'm a pro member of uh, of um, GameStop, and I really enjoy this comic uh, comic uh, this uh, magazine series, and I'm glad I get to follow it too. Um, 
Alright, let's get to the good stuff. Here's an N64 Nintendo Power. Um, on Tony, uh, the, the lead thing was Tony Hawk. Uh, here's some ads for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Nintendo Power was a way for people to get involved, and this is before the internet. And when it, and as it caught on, I mean, I can understand people leaving, but this did provide uh, thing drawings from fans and. Uh, cover, like, uh, questions from fans, and, uh, just getting involved directly with Nintendo. Um, uh, here's some fan art, uh, on this page, uh, here's one in Donkey Kong Country. It's a really good drawing. Uh, of course they have their, uh, things. More Game Boy, uh, advertisements. See, it shows off things like, um, one of the most defining Nintendo powers I've ever seen as a kid was seeing the Nintendo 64 Ultra. The, um, which was the original name for the Nintendo 64. Here's um, uh, here's a very special Nintendo power of the GameCube and its launch title, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 2 is coming out now, so that's pretty great. Um, here's some things for Pikmin. And this episode talks about all about the GameCube. This is a very special um, thing to me. Uh, the GameCube was my first um, upgraded console. Uh, the N64 was my first console. I did play the Super Nintendo but um, as a kid, but that was my dad's. Uh, he had an N64 too, but I asked for one for Christmas because I wanted my own. and uh, I was really glad I did that. I'll talk about Mario Baseball, Mario Dakar Double Dash, Melee, um, Batman's Vengeance. That's a, that's a good game. Uh, and but, yeah, this keeps you together. It, it was it, 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 um, Nintendo Power always kept a great community. Um, it's just something that was really special, you know. Uh, talking about here's the Insider News, really clever. Uh, okay, here's one um, a little more recent. Uh, well, not this is about um, Twilight Princess here, uh, and it's very good. Uh, talks about the Wii. And the up and coming Zelda title is really important. Here's um, the first Animal Crossing. If you're, if you're a fan of Animal Crossing, here's an issue on Animal Crossing Wild Road or Animal Crossing DS. Uh, about gossiping, shipping, and selling you about the new uh, things. Here's, um, here's Nintendogs on this page. Nintendogs is really old uh, now. And uh, that's, a, that's a franchise people are liking. Uh, I'm not much of a fan myself, but you know I never played it, so I can't judge it, so I won't. But it looks like a lot of fun. It's, it's really cool to have uh, one of those things. Tamagotchi's were really popular. Tamagotchi, sorry, you. So used to saying like fanboy and chum chum. Yes, I actually watched that show. Get at me. Um, here is a, some cool game. Here's some here's some cool. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, very anticipated game. A uh, bit of a disappointment. Uh, I didn't hate the game. Uh, nah, um, but this is, that's not what Shadow. This is not what this episode about. Oh my goodness! Here's um, here's some um, screenshots from Yoshi's Topsy Turvy. This is a fun game. Uh, for the Game Boy Advance, I remember this game. It's a lot different the art style now than what it was. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Uh, here's a map of. The third gen of Pokemon. Uh, that's really cool. They tell you uh, where to find secret items. Um, here, uh, here's where you can. Uh, yeah. Here, here's explaining uh, that point in. Uh, let's see. What, what's the town called? <laughs> I'm not. Fortree City. Uh, here's the point where they tell you that it's actually a tree co blocking your way. It is really helpful. Uh, here's some cheat codes. Well, not cheat codes, but like some combos for the for a Jedi DS game. Uh, oh, Lego Star Wars, I mean. Uh, that's really cool. Oh yeah, it is a game for game. And Nintendo Power about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't know if everyone remembers that game. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, I really liked it. It was a nice side thing. Uh, what else we see? Ooh, prepare for the launch. The Nintendo Wii coming out November 19, 2006 for two forty nine ninety nine. Mega Shot. Let's talk about uh, Mario Strikers. The first Mario Strikers is 
really fun, but I, I honestly, I wasn't too impressed with the, the Wii version. I did, I think it was cool how you can block uh, multiple, you can get multiple shots in with your power attack, and you had the, and the goalie had the ability to block it. That, that was really cool. Uh, there were some cool things about it. Here's Mega Man ZX uh, issue. I never, I don't even remember that. Oh, it was a DS title, yeah. I love Mega Man. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl Wii Smash Files. Wow. Uh, basically, you're showing the characters one at a time that's going to be in the game. Obviously, uh, this is one of the earlier ones because Kirby is a perfect attendee in Smash Brothers. Uh, and, uh, huh. Apparently, there's a Billy and Mandy Wii game. You know, uh, there's a lot of missed out Wii games I, got, I wish I got to play. Uh, the problem with the the problem with the Wii's third party titles though is where they weren't well advertised. That's what you had Nintendo power for. They were pretty much the only people that would advertise third party games. Uh, Okami was like the only game I remember third game par third party game I remember that was transferring because it was such a big deal being a PlayStation exclusive onto another console. That was a big deal. Um, it's amazing. Nintendo Power has just given people advice like this. Uh, here's on a new football game. Um, I remember I was reading in Nintendo Power there was a statistic that more older gamers were buying the Wii than the other two um, at the time. I mean, um, the Wii does have um, the highest selling rates, but, you know, I'm not going to get into that. What else? Uh... Oh, I think I saw a picture. Oh, yeah, here's some cheat codes for uh, Monster's House for the Game uh, GameCube. I think it's for the GameCube. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. That was a cool game. I like Super Monkey Ball. I don't care what people say. Uh, let's see. Here's some advice on some uh, uh, RPG Game Boy Advance games. Uh, NDS titles. Game Boy Advance. Um... Final Fantasy 3 is on here uh, for the DS remake. Uh, let's see. Wow. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, the King of Comics. Stanley is a little thing on Stanley. Um, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That's a fun game. Um, if you ever want to play early Wii titles to compare them to newer Wii or titles, or you just want to boost up your Wii library, Get Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That was a cool game, and it was a lot more fun when you were playing with other people. I loved being Iron Man, because he's one of my favorites. Uh, flying around, and being Spider-Man was cool. Uh, that was really great. Uh, here's a thing on the, the, the motion control Super Monkey Ball. I think it's Super Monkey Ball Adventure. That was fun, and uh, the idea of jumping in a, in a Monkey Ball is really um, mind-blowing to me. And... You know, it's just all about the power. Nintendo power. That's all I can that's all I can really say, you know? It's like the fact that it's leaving is really saddening to people because it gave people community, um, it gave people knowledge on what's going on in Nintendo power. And uh I'm sure they'll have their Twitter still up. Um if they uh, I don't even know if they have one, I gotta check. Uh it'd be really it's really stupid I haven't checked in the past. Um there are people who um, just uh, love Nintendo Power, and it was more important to people back then than it is now, uh, because we didn't have ways of seeing. Like, now you can just go on YouTube and see whatever you want. Uh, I just suggested a few games in this episode without even want meaning to, and that's how easy it is to, to get games, but Nintendo Power is your only choice, and today it's still about, it was still about the community. Um, I have been hearing rumors, and I hope it's true, um, Nintendo Map Power may be a downloaded um, ebook type magazine on the Wii U, and you can read it on your gamepad or on the screen. Uh, I'm not sure that's true, but it sounds really promising, and it sounds like a very realistic idea. But it's never going to be the same, just um, getting in your mail and seeing uh, new Nintendo Power in the mail. Um, I know whoever has the huge collection of it is going to be rich one day, and whoever has the last one. Oh, more power to you. Half power, fine. And all in all, um, I'm really glad I did this surprise episode. Um, I just was really upset. And this is a really big announcement. I just had to get up and say, okay, 
I need to do an episode on this. I need to show people and talk to people about Nintendo Power. Because this is the time where it deserves to be remembered for what it was. It, 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 it was an amazing ride. Um, having Nintendo Power meant you had the power. And that, that's what Nintendo always... Nintendo always used words like super and power. And they used it to their full extent. Except the power of love. Oh, right. And after all of that... After all that, in the end of the day, it was a great thing. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next year. Uh, unless there's another surprise when I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know. This is probably the only time this happens. Something really ha big has to happen for me to just throw everything away and just make a episode outside the season, arguably in the season. I mean, I'm not going to consider this a finale or anything, uh, but it was really fun um, doing this one. It was really nice to go on a little nostalgic trip. Um, uh, <laughs> but, you know, gaming for the future. It won't be the same without Nintendo Power. Maybe it'll be on the Wii U as a download. I hope it is. I will buy it. But for now, as we're looking at this at their ends, it won't be the same without Nintendo Power. But gamers, I will see you next time.